Hi, Dan Stein, President of FAIR. It's, it's January 21st, 2011, Friday afternoon, and I want to leave you with some important thoughts about what's going on. This week, Homeland Security quietly chloroformed or put on the shelf the Strategic Border Initiative. This was going to be the alternative to the physical fence. Remember John McCain? During the campaign, he said, build the dang fence. Well, now we need to build the dang fence because after spending an awful lot of taxpayer money and giving it to Boeing, now DHS is saying that's not going to work. Now, at FAIR, we have some doubts that the secretary wasn't simply waiting for the Klieg lights to turn off to chloroform the idea of the actual border fence and that the strategic border initiative, in fact, actually may have had some viability if there had been continued support. Nevertheless, it's been put on the shelf, and only we can continue to keep the pressure on Congress to make sure that the actual strategic fencing along the border gets built. So that's got to be done. Secondly, we clearly see in this Congress an opportunity to mandate, e-verify for all employers nationally. There's a new GAO report that shows that it's highly, re hardly regarded and it's working well. But the key here is that we want to see an awful lot more done in the House than just e-verify. Uh, we have some folks in leadership positions who I know understand this issue. And the idea of trading E-Verify for an amnesty program or whatever Harry Reid has in mind, you know, he hasn't given up on his amnesty plan. He still says that's one of his top priorities. Slow learner, this Senate Majority Leader. He doesn't seem to grasp the fact that Americans are basically saying we need a timeout in immigration. New study from uh, Northeastern University that was commissioned by Reuters. And this week confirmed what we've basically already known, which is that natives, the American natives are being displaced out of the American labor market. Those with less education, less skill, and even frankly those with skills are being displaced as the new jobs are going to the foreign born, many here illegally. Um, Hispanic Americans, African Americans, youth, young people today, they're particularly negatively impacted by what's going on, but the middle class is also virtually disappearing. For some reason, the Democratic Party, which should be concerned about the welfare of the middle class and the concern about who's going to get the jobs of tomorrow, they are allowing themselves to be guided by organizations with some kind of different agenda. Now, we have political opponents out there. They're funded by Carnegie Corporation. The Carnegie Corporation is in New York. You should look them up, see what they're doing, Ford Foundation and others that have a political agenda that has absolutely nothing to do with the welfare of people here today. It's some kind of mythological agenda about creating a perfect world in 2050. But the rest of us who live in the real world and actually do real work, we've got to do what's good for the country. And what's good for the country right now is to bring immigration down, tighten up the labor market, and ensure that the jobs created tomorrow go to Americans here today. We're going to have to get a lot more out of this Congress, particularly in the House, than mandatory you verify, although that would be an important step forward. We want to see the issue framed in a way that brings about reforms that are going to prevent a recurrence of the problems we're dealing with today for our children and grandchildren. And this means strong, robust interior enforcement, worksite enforcement, which is actual work, worker apprehension and removal. Free up those jobs. Hey, we got 7 million illegal aliens working in the U.S. today. Those are jobs, what they were better paying, Americans would be happy to do. We need to see those jobs freed up right now. And we need to see a more conscientious effort to address how today's immigration policy is harming the people who are least in the least position ultimately to defend themselves. In the name of fundamental fairness and the right thing to do, we need to bring immigration down, ensure that the jobs created tomorrow are going to Americans here today, and, and ultimately work together to bring this about. So look at that Northeastern study, check out the GAO report on E-Verify. Let's build the dang fence and let's get to work. We'll talk to you soon, thanks.